A very powerful tool in mathematical modeling are binary variables. Binary variables are decision variables with a domain that contains two values only. In the majority of applications we see 0 and 1. Such a decision variable, let's call it x, would have the following domain then. x is element of 0 and 1. If you like to have two other values, say a and b, where a is smaller than b, that is you like to define x is element of a or b, with a smaller than b, let's say, you could define z element of 0 or 1 and x is the real value and add a constraint x equals a plus b minus a times z. In other words, assuming binary decision variables to be either 0 or 1 is without loss of generality. Binary decision variables come in handy in particular for modeling yes or no decisions. A famous example for using binary variables is the knapsack problem. The story is the following. Imagine that you want to go hiking. You can then carry a knapsack to bring with you all kinds of items. Let n be the number of items you may put into your knapsack. Each item i has a weight wi. The knapsack must not be too heavy. The maximum weight that you want to carry is K. If you have to make a decision, you figure that different items have a different benefit for you. Let bi be the benefit of item i. Now you have to make a yes or no decision for each item. Is it yes, I will put that item into the knapsack, or is it no, the item will be left home? Using binary decision variables seems to be straightforward. The model looks as follows. We maximize the total benefit of the items in the knapsack. And take into account our capacity limit.
This is done by making yes or no decisions.